Welcome to Pats, Pans, and Pioneers. Today I'm going to be making some manicotti, or manicot is the way it's pronounced in Italian. So we're going to fill these pasta shells uh, with filling, and then we're going to bake them. So um, I'm going to show you the way I make them. I'm not Italian, so uh, if you want the traditional way, you'll probably need to find that on another YouTube channel. But I'm going to show you how I do them, and it's really simple. It's one of my very favorite Italian dishes. So we're going to take and start to brown off our meat. Uh, you're going to want to turn your uh, stove to about a medium high. We're going to brown all of our... I'm going to use um, organic uh, grass-fed beef that's been ground. And I'm going to use some ground pork. Now the best pork to use is an Italian style ground pork where it's already pre-seasoned. Um, I don't have any of that. They don't offer that here locally for me. So I'm going to be seasoning my pork on my own. We're going to start to break the meat apart, and we're just going to brown it. Get it all nice and brown. And this has a very low fat content, uh, so I'm going to brown it up and drain off any extra fat because you don't want greasy manicotti or manicot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add some pink salt. I'm gonna add some onion powder. going to add some uh, oregano. Get this browning. I'm going to add a heaping tablespoon of fresh minced garlic. We're going to add some fresh basil. Okay, now we're at the point where we're going to need to start our, our um, we're going to need to heat up some water. And I'm going to start with just a saucepan full of water. And I'm going to go ahead off to the side of the camera and heat it up. So we're going to cook our pasta, but we're not going to cook it all the way through. Pasta is typically, dried pasta is done in 12 minutes, and we're going to cook it for half of that time. So that 
they don't rip apart on us when we're trying to fill them. You could fill them dried, uh, but it really cuts into your time, uh, in the bake time. It'll take a lot longer to cook them. Okay, we're going to let this uh, crisp okay, so up a little bit, make, get a little filling. bit more brown, and we'll be back. And you're, what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, the meat that you've cooked up, and you're going to want to let it, I always let it cool. It's just easier to work with. I mean, it doesn't have to be completely cooled down, but it needs to be where you can handle it. And I think I've let it cool enough. And then when I start adding ingredients here, it's going to cool it even more. I'm going to add, uh, let's see, how many ounces? 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. Okay, I'm going to get a fork. It seems easier. I'm going to try to break up this cheese and get it all mixed in here. And the cheese is really cold, so it should cool down this meat even further. And I'm going to add an egg, and this one was laid on the 21st, a few days ago. Now the ricotta has salt in it, so you're not going to really need to add any salt to this cheese. And I'm going to be adding some other cheeses which are salty, so I don't recommend you salt uh, this particular filling. I am going to add a little bit of baking powder. Excuse me, not baking powder. <laughs> garlic powder. I'm going to add some garlic powder. Okay, to this, I'm going to add. to add some Parmigiano Reggiano and I would say you know a handful like that Santiago cheese just a little bit And then a handful of uh, mozzarella. Okay, I'm going to use this Classico tomato basil. I really like this, but most of the time I buy organic sauce. They were out at the store and so I didn't buy any organic. But I'm going to use the Classico because it's the next uh, to my favorite and all the ingredients are legible, which is kind of important. I'm going to add... Um, two tablespoons to this mixture and all I'm doing is I'm just wanting to infuse the tomatoes into this filling because when you're baking it the, the tomatoes kind of sit on top and around this pasta it all gets mixed together 
but I find it's just more flavorful with the tomato, putting a little bit of tomato sauce in this filling. It's just the way I do it. If you obviously that's an option if you don't want to do that. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I have a pastry bag and I'm going to, um, I have like a mason jar and it's closed off, it's sealed off at the bottom. I'm just going to fill this with the filling and I'm going to get it into a, an easier way to fill these shells up and you'll be glad because if you tried to fill these with a spoon you're going to rip the pasta. It's just not going to work really well at all. so it's ready to go and um, we're going to lift this out we're going to push the filling all the way to the bottom okay You want enough filling in them so they're, you know, relatively full. All right. So, as you can see, I have a lot of filling left. And what I just uh, do is um, I just, because this is all going in a casserole, I just start lining uh, the pan with the rest of the filling. And it'll just turn into the meat sauce. We're going to have leftover um, because not there's only so many uh, manicani in the, in the package. Probably should have picked a bigger casserole, but I think this will work. So what we're going to do is... going to take the sauce and we're going to pour it over the dish here. I'm just going to make sure that my pasta is covered. Okay, I'm going to put this on a cookie sheet. I'm going to uh, put the oven to 375. And I'm going to put this on a cookie sheet just in case there's any, it drips over or anything like that. It doesn't mess up my oven. I like to keep my stove and oven pretty clean. And about, probably about 10 minutes before it's done, I'm going to take it out of the oven. I'm going to put mozzarella cheese all over the top of it. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to do that. So we've got our manicotti, our sauce on top. And we're going to bake this for 30 minutes. 
and it should be all nice and bubbly and done. So we'll be back. There you go. Now they're going to be delicious. And I've got some cheesy French bread, garlic and cheese. I'm going to try a little bite here. Mmm. Y'all, so good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll try this manicani or manic... Uh, Mangat, I think that's how they say it in Italian. And um, I will see you guys on the next video. Find somebody to bless.